Aloha, it's William. And today we'll do more with Google Drive. Google Drive. And today we're doing sheets. So basically spreadsheets uh, with Google. And um, very similar to the Microsoft Excel that we did earlier. And in this case, though, of course, uh, it's, it's a little harder to lose things. So we're going to store it on the drive, store it on the cloud. And then we'll just we'll do something real si simple. We'll just uh, I'll throw I'll put up some uh, grades and student names. We'll take averages and make a chart from that. Okay. Um, but yeah, so similar to Excel. Also, it does the automatic calculating. So pretty much anything you can make a table out of, uh, anything with table data, tab tabular data, any kind of data that's in a, a table form. So rows and columns. Uh, we can use with the uh, uh, Google Sheets to uh, store this data and um, make cool graphs from this data and that kind of thing. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's let's go into our, our Google Drive on the screen here, and um, let me zoom in a bit. So let's see. I want to show y'all how to do this. So we'll go to New, and then I guess they like. Uh, really short names for these things. So Google Google Sheets, ba basically spreadsheets. It's the green icon there. All right, so we'll click on that. And then, hey, we got the rows and columns. All right, and uh, you know we want to go to the top. These Google documents, uh, Google Sheets in this case, pretty good. It's uh, all look kind of similar. So we'll go ahead and rename it. So I'll just call it. Uh, Let's see, ICS CS 100, and I'll say it's uh, students, students' grades. Okay, and uh, so I'll click OK there, and I'll, I'm gonna make up some fictional uh, student names and fictional student grades. So let's see here. So let's put in. Um, we want the student name. Okay, so the, I'll just put a name here. And then say we'll have assignment, say one, ASS, IGN, assignment two, and assignment three. All right. And like I was saying, um, very similar to, to uh, look with all these. Uh, different kind of Google tools. So for example, if I wanted to, um, I can, you know, let's say make it bold. Let's see what else we want to do. Maybe um, we'll do uh, centering. So if we scroll over here and um, pull down this so we can do centering. So we can do all these kinds of, um, what should we call it, formatting. Uh, I could just click the whole row there. And oh, I'm gonna make all these bold at once. And uh, shoots, I'm gonna make all these centered as well. Okay, so these are like the titles to each row, right? So I kind of want those to stand out, look kind of special. Uh, let's see, let's put in some names here. Uh, let's see, maybe Billy Albritton. <coughs> and um, uh, let's put in uh, some other fictional names. Uh, uh, Larry, William, and um, they I'll put in, let's just put in one more, uh, let's see, Fred Smith, okay, that's kind of a, a common uh, name there. Okay, so then I'll, just, I'll throw some grades in here, uh, and we'll say each assignment's maybe out of 10 points or something, we aren't doing too well on that one. Um, Assignment two, let's say, uh, I don't know, people did a little better. Maybe this person, oh, 9.5 now. Cool. And then maybe seven. Okay, then assignment three. Maybe we'll do, uh, this person starts slacking off, and then uh, let's see, put, say, uh, five or something. Okay, so. So you can see it's, it's basically a table. Okay, so any kind of, you know, it doesn't have to be student grades. So it could be any kind of thing you want to store. Maybe you're just storing 
you know, information about uh, different friends, their address, uh, you know, telephone numbers, or you know, put something on the cloud so it's harder to lose. Uh, or maybe you're in a science class and you know, you're collecting data, that kind of stuff. So tables uh, used for lots and lots of stuff. Um, you, know, you can think of, say, student records. Okay, there's lots of tables with that. If you go on and do databases later on, lots and lots of tables. Anyway, it's a spreadsheet, so let's, let's look back into spreadsheets. So what's cool about spreadsheets is, are the automatic uh, calculations. Okay, so let's, let's see how we can do that. We'll, just, we'll put some averages in there and um, see how well or not so well people are doing on these assignments. Okay, so let's look back onto the Google Sheets here. And uh, I'll just say, all right, we'll, we'll figure out some averages. And tell you what, I'll... Uh, uh, let's bold that again and um, what you might call do the centering as well. And here we want to put in some formulas. Okay, so we want to take an average. And um, so what we want to do is just click on the cell and then we'll insert. So we'll insert, um, whoops, let's see, insert and then go to function. Here are some of the basic functions that we have. So sum, average, count, max, et cetera. And we'll take an average. And then we're going to uh, put our mouse over the rows where we'll take the averages from. OK. And then I'll, I'll just press Enter. And uh, so that's going to take the averages uh, of that uh, assignment one. And it's pretty cool. So if you can just, if you copy uh, that uh, cell, Go to the next cell and then paste it there. So that will also give you the averages for the next row. And then I'll, I'll do the same thing. So I'll, I'll paste it in there. And so that's going to be the averages for that row. So it automatically compensates and figures out, OK, I need to, to um, what, adjust to the next row. And then let's take the averages for each, uh, whatchamacall, for each assignment. Let's see. And uh, so kind of similar. We'll just we'll go up here. We'll do the insert. And um, again, we'll take the, the average function again. But now, OK, so I'll drag my mouse across these cells um, and then enter that. And then uh, as before, so I'll do a, a copy. And then I'll, I'll paste in the. Uh, the average there, yeah. Uh, so it's going to automatically adjust and figure out. Let's see. Let's even do the the averages of the whole class. Okay, so that's basically the average class grade would be here. And then, well, it's got some decimal points and stuff in here, so we could we could do some more formatting. So if we click on a column, um, so we can format uh, the numbers here, and um, Let's see, if we just click on number, and then we'll do uh, the, um, the number here. And so that's kind of automatically set for two decimal places, actually. And we can do the same thing with these as well. Let's see, so let's format that uh, to the number formatting. And it's just, it's automatically set to two decimal place, places right now. OK, so great. So. Um, that's just kind of the basics, all right, for, for putting it in some rows and then calculating, in this case, averages. And cool thing, if we go back, um, if you change anything, it automatically updates stuff. OK, so um, I don't, like way back in the day, we used to like, you know, put our grades into calculators and average them out and stuff. But, but now, you just you put in the Excel sheet, and then even when something gets updated or changed, then it just automatically updates the average. Pretty cool. OK, so let's, let's look at that. So that's kind of the whole point uh, with the Excel, is just kind of saving us time. Maybe assignment one, this, this student went back, uh, Billy went back, and uh, maybe they, they you know, resubmitted or something. Hey, they got 10 points. And then if you watch closely, that uh, their average changed from a 7 to a 9. OK. So again, I'm assuming it's out of 10 points total. But um, yeah, so this just it automatically uh, recalculates things for us. It's, it's really convenient to do it this way. Okay, so let's show y'all one more thing, and that is how to make a chart. Um, 
So when we make charts, what we want to do is kind of outline the data that we want to put into the chart. And then uh, again, we'll go to the insert. And um, what we'll do is make a chart here. OK, so I'll click on chart. And um, it'll pull up a lot of different choices here. So I, I want a bar chart. I'm going to put this here. And then um, it kind of shows me a, a, what it's going to look like. Oh, all right, oh, that's pretty good. So you can see all the different students, their grades. It makes them different colors even. Um, it just sets up everything automatically for us. And uh, we'll click on uh, Insert. And then we can actually have this as part of our, um, our, our view here. Um, if you want, you can actually save this um, <clears throat> in another, uh, let's see, in another um, Excel sheet. But we'll just, I'm sorry, in a different uh, spreadsheet. But uh, let's see if I can just kind of move this around. I can see everything here. Yep. OK. So yeah, so that's the basics again on, on making charts from the, ex, the um, I keep wanting to say Excel, from the uh, Google Sheets, Google Sheets um, software. And again, it's all stored online. And it's automatically saved. You know, so I never press the Save button. It's just boom, boom, boom. It's just saved automatically. So that's great. I, I mean, I have students all the time. And myself, sometimes I forget to save things, and then pff, it's gone, man. So it automatically saves. It's on the cloud. And uh, you can put all your data for different charts and, um, and different tables, and then create a nice graph or chart from that. OK, so uh, that's all for today, and we'll see you all a little later. Aloha.